hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you missed my last vlog you might be a little confused right now who are you watching i went dark it's very exciting so if you didn't see my last vlog go ahead and watch that it is very dirty right now i've not washed it since i got it done and it's been a few days but don't worry we are going to do an ulta pickup today and i got the shampoo and conditioner that abby recommended i use now with my new dark hair i want to preserve the color and make sure it lasts really nice so um She's a little bit of a hot mess right now, but don't worry. We're going to wash it tonight. <laughs> I have had an insane day. I recorded two podcasts this morning. I'm going on a little vacation next week, so we need to, like, pre-record. So we recorded two podcasts. I rewatched my video, made the thumbnail, and uploaded that, did all the links. I made graphics for the podcast. I did all the descriptions, and then I got ready for the day. It's been a lot. Also something i wanted to address this is like not address that's a really like the wrong word but you guys know that i love sorry i have to put the air on just a little bit you guys know that i love my wet and wild um foundation and uh i've heard people complain about the smell like it smells like paint and i'm like i don't get it it literally smells like normal and i just recently bought a new one and i opened it and it freaking smelled like paint and i'm like oh i get it now i mean i put it on my face put everything else on top and it doesn't bother me but right when i put it on i was like this does not smell good and then I was like, this is what people are talking about. So I understand now because I've always been like, I don't get it. Like it literally smells like normal foundation, but now I smell the paint smell. So maybe they like changed the formula or something. I don't know, but I wanted to talk about that. Anyways, we've got some things to do today. I want to do my Ulta pickup. I want to clean my sneakers. We got like most of my like social media work done today. I also posted on Instagram, so that's good. Um, so social media is kind of done. Now I just get to vlog for you guys. So we're gonna run some errands. Pick up Ulta. I am just stopping right now at the mall at um, Saks Fifth Avenue. My sister is a waitress in the restaurant here, so I'm going to visit her really quick. And then also she got off early, so I'm gonna look for a purse. I really need a purse that fits you guys. I have a big camera. It's not like a DSLR, like one of those big big cameras but it's not also like a little g7x if you guys know what any of that means so it's kind of like an in-between it's got a detachable lens let me see if i can show you right here can you tell it's just a bigger camera and besides tote bags i have zero purses that my camera fits in and it's very frustrating because i like to bring you guys out a lot and i just need a purse that's more convenient especially i'm gonna be traveling soon so i'm really like crossing my fingers hopes up that i can buy one today if not i might have to order one but hopefully it'll get here before i go on my vacation because that would be ideal so yes we're gonna look for a purse and then a few other little things but we'll cross those bridges when we get there for now i'm gonna go meet up with my sister oh i have a return too at sephora and i have a return at um uh nordstrom but i don't think there is one here i think it closed down so that might be for another day as well but we're gonna get there i also am getting rid of these are these chuggy these bralettes i'm gonna um donate them actually i'm gonna ask zane's little sister if she wants them she might think they're chuggy too though because she's 16 but we'll see <laughs> anyways i just saw them sitting there and i was like i don't want you guys to be like why are there bras just sitting on here <laughs> thing okay let's go inside quick pause everybody before we hop into the rest of this video i wanted to talk about today's sponsor which is skillshare you guys know i love them i'm a fan if you've never heard of it before it's an online learning community they have millions of users thousands of classes for anything if you want to go into illustration photography if you want to learn how to journal if you want to start an online website there's so many resources on here for you. And it's honestly for everybody if you're just curious and want a new hobby or if you're a professional and you want to expand on your craft. Anybody can go on Skillshare. The classes include a combination of video lessons along with a class project. And most classes are under 60 minutes and it's broken up into shorter lessons so it can fit any type of busy schedule. You watch some lessons one day and then the rest the next or one a day. Whatever fits your schedule. If you guys watch my videos, you've heard me talk about Skillshare before and you know that I love the cooking classes it's definitely one of my favorite categories i also like the self-help kind of classes like journaling or productivity and things like that staying organized also a great thing is that it is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused go wherever your creativity wants to take you if you want to learn about music production today and then photography tomorrow and then productivity the next day and then graphic design the next day you could do that also something really awesome is skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in spanish portuguese dutch and french here's a little example you guys can see here how the class is broken up into little shorter lessons to fit your day and you guys know i love 
love the cooking. So this one is make ahead breakfast that will change your day. I also love that down here at the bottom, they actually have a review section. So before you even start the class, you can see what people think of it. So if you guys are interested in checking Skillshare out today, which I highly recommend you do, honestly, I love the video format. It's so entertaining. And if you're watching me, then you like watching YouTube. So you'll have a lot of fun with this. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Definitely go check it out. Also, must I say that the fall weather has arrived here in New York and I am so happy about it. This is my favorite weather. Not winter, but fall. I'm so happy right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. I was looking for my sister, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I like she said she was sitting at the bar. Where are you? Where are you? At the restaurant? So am I. No, all of your fellow well, employees. So what restaurant are you at? Saks Fifth Avenue? Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the store. I see you, I see you. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Oh. This is the restaurant with that work in the back. I came here. Everyone was looking in the back for you going, Crystal? See? I was at the right place. Thank you so much. My friends want to Okay. Me and my sister really look like sisters now because of my hair. I thought I was going to like sit there and eat, but she got off early. So now we're just going to go shopping. I'm not even that hungry anyway. I had a sandwich. So we're going to look at some purses. YSL is also a contender. I just really need one big enough and casual to fit my camera. That is what I'm looking for. You're such a liar. She said there was Prada here. Well, I'm going to go to Roosevelt. You want to go to Roosevelt? You should get the Louis bag. Louis? You don't like Louis Vuitton? I need something simple. Well, we can go look. We can go look. Gucci. Okay, we can look Gucci too. The girls told me that they have Prada. Wow. Why are you so set on Prada though? There's a style that I like that I know will fit my camera. All right, totally lied to you guys. We decided to eat here at this restaurant. So we're eating at Gastronomy in Saks Fifth Avenue at Walt Whitman Mall. You wanna come visit my sister? <laughs> Wait, are you, is maybe next not. week's your last, last no, week? No, next week is my last week. Oh, okay, so maybe so not. By the time me. you see this, I'm not sure. But if you wanna come visit her, yeah. We walked around Saks Fifth Avenue and they don't have Prada here and I didn't really like any of the other brand's bags. I'm kind of set on the Prada Galleria bag, to be honest. So, I tried calling the Prada store that's like 30 minutes away and they didn't answer. But we're gonna check Bloomingdale's. I don't know if they have Prada, but we're gonna check there. And if something else catches my eye, that's fine, but nothing has caught my eye yet. We looked at Gucci, we looked at Tory Burch, we looked at YSL. YSL, we looked at Louis Vuitton. Nothing's really like speaking to me. I want something very simple that I can wear every day. And Louis Vuitton, they all have like, what is it called, the monograms? Yeah, the monograms. monograms. It was like all over them. And I really just want something simple and plain for my first bag that I'm gonna wear every day. Then once I start collecting, I'll get more interesting ones. And then when you don't want them anymore, you can give them to me. I pass them to Sissy. Yeah. There's TikToks of people that are like me collecting designer bags so that my daughter has vintage bags. Aww. Like collecting them now so I can give that them to my cute. kids one day. Anyways, I'm gonna have Connie salad and avocado roll because that's my go-to. Not my avocado roll. Fun fact. You guys know I'm obsessed with Connie salads, and actually the reason that I'm obsessed with them is because of my sister working at this restaurant. I tried it here literally years ago, and that's when I became obsessed with it, so it's all my sister's fault. <laughs> okay, we can't find Prada anywhere. Nobody has it. Bloomingdale's didn't have it, um, but we did find this Givenchy. The only difference is it's got silver detailing instead of gold, and I wear gold jewelry. So I'm like thinking, is that a big deal? But this bag is really nice. It fits my camera and my phone. We just tried it. And it comes with a, like a crossbody strap. It's like a really good size. Like I really like this one. But I just don't know about the silver. And would they sell me this one, Sissy? They have them in the back or they would sell me this one? They'd have to sell you in the back. They don't give you that one. Yeah, on yeah. But I wonder if they have it in the back with gold. If they have it in the back with gold, I will buy it. Because I do like this. I'm just a little bit not sold on the silver. Okay, um, we just had somebody come help us and they don't make it with the gold trim, but I am gonna buy it with the silver. I'm going for it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm doing it. This is my first designer bag purchase. This is a big girl purchase. I deserve it. And also, this one is cheaper than the Prada one that I wanted. And I've never seen the Prada one in person. I don't know how big it is. This one is like the perfect size. Like, look at her. She's pretty. The real gem. She's very pretty. 1850. The Prada one that I wanted was gonna be like close to three. Mm, nervous. I can always return it. I can always return it. This is another one that they have that has gold detailing, but it's like very fancy, like not everyday wearable. So I don't want to go for this one, but the gold is pretty. But that's okay. First one can be silver. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Oh 
my god okay my plan was to get the prada gallery a bag but i wanted to see it in person but nobody here sells it and i called the prada store over here that's 30 minutes away i was gonna drive there but they didn't answer the phone and like online it said you needed an appointment and i was like okay like i want to be fancy but like not that fancy like i don't have to make an appointment to go buy a damn bag so I was walking around and I'm like, honestly, if I see another brand, that's fine. Like, I just want something everyday wearable. I want to treat myself. I deserve it. I work hard. I don't have a name brand bag at all. I've had a Michael Kors back in the day and I've had like a little coach bag and stuff like that, but I've never had like, you know, like a designer bag, like luxurious Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Givenchy, Burberry. Like, I've never had any of those. So here she is. They didn't have a fancy box, which I was kind of upset at, but it's fine. They gave me a Saks Fifth Avenue bag, and then in there is the dust bag, I think these are called, and it says Givenchy on it. Very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, this is my vibe for sure. And here she is. It is very simple. It is everyday wearable. And it fits you guys. And it's also still kind of small. I didn't want anything super big. Isn't she so pretty? I love it. They did not have the option for gold. They It only comes in silver. But also, I will say the guy that was helping me didn't seem like he really worked in that department. So I don't know if he really knew. So maybe they do make it in gold. I'm actually going to look that up myself. Probably not, but it's fine. I went with the silver anyway because I really do just love the design of this one. I think it's so pretty. So simple. Like, it's small enough. But, it, like, I can hit, hold it by this. But it also has a crossbody, which you guys know I love. Funny enough, though, my experience was not very luxurious. So he went to print the receipt and it was out of paper. <laughs> so he was, like, running around with, like, a manager or somebody like that like trying to get help and it was like taking forever and it was totally fine i'm not complaining but it was like we had to like return it and then like say that i like repurchased it or something like that so that i could get a receipt so it was a whole big to do but regardless we got her and now now that i'm looking at it in the camera she's pretty my first designer purchase even when i got the michael kors like zane bought that for me and that's not very like is that considered like luxury designer i don't think so this is my first very pricey bag that i bought on my own and I'm very proud of her and I just want to remember this moment forever. So here we are. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Like I literally wear Amazon <laughs> and H&M. So this is just very exciting for me. And yeah, I just wanted to share the moment. Isn't she so pretty? I love her. This is gonna, just gonna be so perfect for me, honestly. I'm really glad that I got one. I really didn't wanna wait for one in the mail, honestly. I was so impatient. Tomorrow, Zane and I have like a whole date day and date night. So I'm like, this is gonna be perfect. I can wear my new purse out. I love it. Anyways. Also, of course, I went with black because it'll just match everything that I wear. My next designer purchase will probably be like a tan or a cream or a white or something along those lines. But for my first one, this will definitely go with like everything that I wear. So I'm just so excited about it. Okay, we're going to go do my Ulta pickup now. I have been actually walking with my cousin. We just like meet up and like walk for like an hour after she gets out of work, but I missed it today because by the time I drove home from here, it's rush hour, the receipt thing was taking long, but I was really excited to do that. So I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to make it, but it's been really nice. Like I'll literally walk and then go to a Zumba class after too. And I just feel so good. Like getting outside this fall weather has been so perfect. So being, being able to like enjoy it, we both work from home inside. So like being able to like get outside and we get to chat and catch up and nice weather. It's like the perfect time of year to do it. So I'm actually not gonna be able to do it tomorrow either because Zane and I are gonna have our date night, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm just so excited and happy. Thanks for sharing this moment with me. 20 hours later, cause I get distracted sitting on my phone. We made it to all I already switched out my bag, so we're gonna use her right now. And also good news, instead of having to drive all the way to a Nordstrom, because they're all so far away for my return, I found out I could do free returns online. So I just did that. We're doing much better this errands run versus the last one that you guys saw. Yay, okay, what a pleasant experience. Everyone in the store was just doll faces, and they're so cute. And I'll show you everything that I got when we go home. I got two orders, yay. It's time for an Ulta haul, everybody. Um, okay, first of all, we have a full bag of my favorite Hemp's lotion. They were on sale. I'm sure you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere, but I, I like getting points on Ulta because then I end up getting like $6 off, $5 off. So it's like shopping at DSW, definitely probably more expensive, but I get like coupons and stuff. And so it makes it worth it because once in a while I'll get, I'll get sneakers for like really cheap. And once in a while, I'll get, like, actually, when I bought these, I got, like, $6 off from just from buying stuff. So, anyways, we got a few different scents. This one, I think I've had in a travel, and it smelled good. But also, this is looking green, and I think the travel one I had was blue. So, I could have been wrong, but you can't really go wrong with hemp. Although, I did accidentally buy the original scent, and I absolutely cannot stand it. I use it, so it's bearable. 
but I would never buy again. The original hemp scent is not for me. How do I open this? I like like something sweet or fruity or s like fresh smelling and the original just smells like almost like I'm putting on like an ointment, like not like a luxurious experience. Ow! My God, 20 hours later. Why are you guys so bright? Okay, let's see. This one is exotic green tea and Asian pear. Oh, that smells good. Let me see if I would buy again. This is not the one I was thinking of. I thought this was blue. Oh, just the best. Babe, come here. What's up, baby? What do you think of this smell? Hello, everyone. I don't know if I would buy this one again, actually. It smells like hotel lotion in like the most average way it's possible. It's like basic and average. Okay. Yeah. It's usable, but not a favorite. It's probably like effective, but not. It'll moisturize. Feel my hands. Yeah. They're great. But it's not like a pleasurable experience. Moisture. Yeah, you are one. I don't know if I do. <laughs> okay. This is one of my oh, yeah. favorites. I'm a moisturizer. Yeah, yeah. It's good lotion. Um, this is my favorite scent from them. Honestly, now I'm dark. What the heck, camera? Well, where's my little thingy? Where's my attachment? Here we are. But that means I have to take off my glasses. Otherwise, there's going to be a light in my glasses. Okay. Oh, lighting. This is my absolute favorite scent. Sweet pineapple and honey melon. I don't even have to explain it to you. It's just... If you're gonna try a Hemp's lotion, get this scent. Why am I like, why can't I open this like a normal person? Oh, oh, I got it. That makes more sense. Mmm, if you like sweet scent, this is fresh, this is sweet. Babe, come tell me if you like this one better. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like that one better. This one's good. It reminds me of something, I can't think of it right now, but. Because I use it, so it smells... probably smells like me. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot. That's my fave. My other fave recently, and I also like the aesthetic of this one better because it's white. Um, fresh coconut and watermelon. This one also smells really good. Hey, babe. Yeah? What's the difference between a wrap and a burrito? Uh, the innards. Wraps are usually cold, no? Wraps are usually open at the top, no? Am I tripping for that? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't really know. I would say the innards. A burrito is like rice, beans, like Mexican. And a wrap is usually like cold cuts or mm. chicken, like something like that. Why? Well, because I'm making a wrap. But so I thought. I'm like, am I actually making a burrito right now? No. You can have shredded chicken in a burrito and a wrap. Yeah, but it was. it's usually accompanied by either cheese or guac or rice. Oh, I'll put a cheese in here too. Don't get it twisted. Oh my I might be making good points over here. What is, I think it might be the opening. I feel yeah, like when I picture when, a wrap, I picture the wrap being open like from the get go and a burrito's like. No, when I make a wrap, I roll it and then I cut it down the middle. Or that, you don't really cut a burrito down the middle. I feel like that's against burrito law. Sometimes people cut a burrito <laughs> in the middle. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> now that my hands are moisturized, I'm failing miserably at getting these plastic things off. Okay. This one smells like watermelon candies. So if you're into that, that's that. Then, best for last, we've got two limited edition apple cinnamon shortbread and vanilla spice and vanilla chai. I've never smelled either of these, but I would love to smell like a fall candle. Thank you so much. So let's see, apple cinnamon shortbread. Oh my God, that smells so good. Zane? Oh, what's the rose? Smell this right now. Okay, I'm coming. But only if you'll wrap my burrito. Sure. <laughs> With my lotion hands? Let me smell. Oh. Ooh. Uh, that one smells that good. That is a fall dream. I like that one. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Okay, okay, okay. That one's going in the bathroom. Unless this one's better. This one is pumpkin spice and vanilla chai. While you get Zane attempting to wrap his thing in the background. Oh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you have a wide angle. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, this one's good too. I like the apple one better. Come smell this one. And I'll wrap your thing. The apple one's a little better. This one's a I'll little like a um, fakey smelling. I feel like the other one smells nice and that one just smells like a candle. Right. You know what I mean? Like that one smells like waxy. Yeah, but don't get it twisted. They will both be used. Love. Those are the hemp lotion. That is like literally a year supply. So we're good on hemp lotions now. And then I wanted to get the proper shampoo and conditioner for my new hair that was recommended by um, my hair colorist. So I know it's what I should be using. It is the Wella Professionals Brilliance. I don't know what else do I say here. Normal for normal hair, color protection, shampoo and conditioner. And that's what we got for my hair. 
And then, also I got some dry shampoo with a dark tint for my hair because regular dry shampoo leaves like, you know, like the residue, gray or white residue in your hair, so. We are ready, stocked up. I'm excited, I think I'm gonna make a TikTok haul, so if you follow me on there, you would've already seen all of this. Okay, bye. You're gonna watch and learn. Watch and learn, buddy, watch and learn. You did put a lot recording? in here, yeah. Oh. What? No, I'm just running. I can't tell it because of the ring light. You put a lot in here. I know. Okay, I so need to get my protein in. One fold this way. Copy. Each side goes in. You did stuff this, but I will try. Wait, but I was gonna leave the top open because that's a wrap. Now you're making a burrito. Baby, you want it to fall apart or stay together? I prefer it stayed together. I do have a fork though, for worst case scenario. Then you give it a roll. <laughs> nice, baby. That's not really gonna stay together. You stuffed it a lot, but yeah. Much obliged, partner. You're so welcome. I feel like that's from something, and I just don't know what. I've been saying that a lot. Much obliged, partner. Like a movie or something. I might, I think. Well, oh, we're doing this. Oh, I did good. We're doing like a fend for yourself kind of night because we need to go buy a little bit of groceries, but I'm doing tilapia because Zane can't have tilapia. We had shredded chicken prepped for him, but I think I'm gonna do like a pasta with my tilapia. That sounds good. Well, we'll clean up that mess later. It's time to eat. What did I have today? A chicken salad sandwich, and then I had one avocado roll and one connie salad. That is what I ate today. It is 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> no, honestly, when I stay busy throughout the day, I like don't even think about the fact that I'm hungry. So now I'm very excited to eat, so. I mean, I did have two meals, but still, like, hello, 10 p.m., we need dinner. Took out a piece of tilapia, so. I was thinking about doing the viral, um, it's with salmon and rice trend by Emily on TikTok, which must I say, let me just, let me just um, brag here for a second. Her name is Emily Mariko and hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. She's gone viral on TikTok, as she should, um, for this like salmon, she like heats it up the microwave with the ice cube, the ice cube doesn't melt, people go crazy over it. You mash it together, you use seaweed with the chopsticks and the avocado, and it's like a little roll, but like easier, right? I've been watching this girl on YouTube. I don't watch her consistently anymore, but I, can you guys stop arguing? Thank you. I have been subscribed to her like, pre-pandemic. I love how I'm using that as a timeline. I've been subscribed to her on YouTube for a long time. So like, I'm an OG, love her to death, and she deserves to go viral on TikTok, as she should. Anyways, I was gonna do a, a version of that, but then I was like, I don't have avocado. I don't have seaweed. I have rice. I have mayo. I can make spicy mayo with, with sriracha. I have soy sauce, but I would do it with tilapia because I'm not, oh, my tilapia needs to be defrosted more. Let me put this in the sink with water running. I'm not a salmon fan. I like tilapia instead. Salmon's a little bit fishy for me, and I know I've tried it multiple times. I always try things. I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm not trying it. No, I try everything, and I've tried salmon a few times, many different restaurants, at home, etc. It's just not, not for me. It doesn't agree with my taste buds. So I like tilapia. Okay, we're gonna let that defrost for a minute. I'm also thinking I had like connie salad and stuff for lunch. I'm just not really in the mood for that right now. So maybe we'll try that another day if you guys are interested. But everybody's trying it on TikTok. It seems great. So if you wanna try it out, go on TikTok, I guess. Fun video that I wanna do soon. I've had it on my video idea list for a really long time. Somebody suggested this. So if you suggest this, take all credit. I don't remember who, where, what, but I just wrote it down. I should have written your name down. I apologize. But I wanna do like a version of Chopped, the TV show, where Zane gives me like a few different Different, like random ingredients and I have to make dinner with it. How cool would that be? Let me know if you guys want to see that. Comment right now a fork and knife emoji if you want to see that video so that I know so that I don't waste my time. But I think that that would be really fun. So let me know. Okay, let me find out what I'm going to do with this tilapia. I just remembered I still have leftover rice from HelloFresh. Oh my God, is this still good? It's fine. My eyes are making lights from putting the ring light on my camera. When did I make this? It wasn't that long ago. Don't yell at me, I'm eating it. Okay, we're gonna use this pistachio rice leftover. If you missed that vlog, I'll put it down below with the tilapia with similar seasonings. Yes, and maybe I'll roast some veggies. Let me, let's roast some veggies.
Okay, four minutes. All right, four minutes. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the little ASMR moment. I basically did what I made in a recent vlog, so I didn't want to film it all over again for you guys. I'm about to catch up on Bachelor in Paradise. Basically, we just have the leftover rice, and then I decided to add some peas to it. Then on the veggies, I ended up adding some more seasoning while it was in the air fryer. I did the air fryer instead of the stove because it's just faster and easier. I put the same seasoning as on the tilapia, so there's salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, turmeric, cumin, cinnamon. I might be forgetting something, but I feel like that's everything that I did. And then I just mixed some light sour cream with some garlic powder and some water and made like a sauce. And that's that. That's my dinner. Nice, balanced, healthy meal. I'm very excited. Also, if you guys caught, I did the little ice cube thing that she does, Emily, in the middle of the rice. I think the point is you put the parchment paper on top. It like keeps it from melting. It like circulates, whatever. Um, I didn't do that, so it melted a little bit. But it heated up the rice just fine. Usually, I just drip some water on the rice or put a wet paper towel on top. But the ice cube trick is pretty cool. So I was like, wait a second. While I'm eating this, what if I just mush up the tilapia? And it has a sauce on it. So basically, it's kind of like a version of Emily's bowl plate thing. Now my tilapia is mushed up in here. And I'm just eating it with a fork. So there we go. My own version. <laughs> this cat has been driving us nuts. What do you want? What? You're crazy. He literally just jumped. With this chair wasn't here. I just put it here. He jumped, grabbed onto here with his claws, and was hanging. Like he was doing a pull-up. How did you do that? I had to put our curtain up because he started to make pulls in it. I don't have it up properly, but why'd you do that? Crazy. All right, it's time to clean up a little bit. I'm going to clean up my dishes from dinner. We've been keeping on top of the dishes and cleaning. Oh my God, look at Bella. Can you guys see her in the basket? What are you doing over there? That's <laughs> so funny. Um, ever since we started our weekly cleaning, we've been pretty much keeping up with it in here. So I want to still do that. Oh my god, also, I wanted to show this. Look at him. Look, look, look. He's gonna pull himself up. Anyways. One of you guys sent this, which I thought was so cute and so nice. Little keychains. This one says, has an A on it for me. And then Zane's car for him. Like, how nice is that? Here we go, now it's focusing. And then she also did a custom digital drawing of his Type R, which is so nice. I don't know if she's gonna extend the code but Alyssa 10 for 10 percent off i'll put her shop down below thank you so much for sending me stuff you totally did not have to do that but i appreciate it and look at this it literally has my name like stamped on it this card that's so cute okay let's get a hold on these dishes amazing let's get a hold on this table so much better and we can clean this one off too clean and happy it's time for bed i'm tired not very many things that add up to the happiness of a clean kitchen at nighttime. The day kind of did get away from me a little bit though and I really wanted to clean my sneakers. I bought magic erasers and I wanted to see how those worked. So I think I'm going to end this video with that another day. So I will see you guys then. Alrighty, time to try this out. I'm gonna put on gloves. I've got a few pairs of sneakers here on the floor. Don't worry, we're cleaning the sink. I'm going to start with my Air Forces. They are disgusting. I beat these shoes up to no end. I wear them all the time. I'm not one to care about creases. Like, I like to just wear these shoes. These are, like, my go-tos. So, I will be buying a new pair soon, but let's see if we can clean these and then at least keep them as, like, concert shoes, you know, like, ones that I know I can mess up and then get, like, nice ones to wear to nice things. So, we're going to try the Magic Eraser. I don't know what is in these sponges, but they are quite literally magic. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Look at that. Also, I self-tan like a crazy person, so there is stains on the tongue. I don't know if that's gonna come out. I definitely need new laces too. I don't think this is gonna clean my laces, so I'll just have to buy new white laces, which is fine. I feel like this lighting on my camera is terrible. I mean, it definitely looks cleaner. Nothing spectacular. Looks pretty good. I'll take that. Good enough for now. And actually, 
it kind of did come off the tongue, the staining. Let's see, this one has a lot of staining on the tongue from Tanner, but will that come off? Kind of. These are gonna be the interesting one. These were white, and I don't think that the magic eraser is gonna work on this material. I think these are gonna have to go in the washing machine, but let's see. Besides the fact that my laces now just look more dirty because my sneakers are more white, it wasn't too bad on the Air Forces, but was having a blast. My workout sneakers aren't too bad. Um, the cotton just needs to be clean, but I got like the rubber on the bottom or whatever that material is. These are screwed, so if you guys could leave any remedies, what I should throw them in the dryer or I mean washing machine with, vinegar or whatever, let me know. And make sure it actually works because I hate DIYs. <laughs> My cheeks are red because I was just leaning on them while I was editing. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.